Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian here in Tampa, Florida to cover the National Defense Industrial Association's annual SOFIC Conference and Trade Show, the world's largest gathering of special operators and the industries that serve them. Our uh, coverage here is sponsored by FLIR Systems and we're here uh, at the L3 uh, Technologies uh, stand and full disclosure, L3 is another one of our sponsors to talk to John uh, Pyatt, who is uh, the Vice President for Strategy and Business Development at Warrior uh, Systems, uh, part of the L3 family of uh, companies. John, thanks uh, very much for taking time uh, to talk with us. Um, you guys are highlighting uh, three uh, products here, on the night vision side, on the counter unmanned uh, aerial system side, and then on uh, the combat system that is actually the core on the AC-130, uh, for example, gunship in the Special Operations Command, and, and you guys hope that the Longsword aircraft is going to prove uh, you know, attractive to the soft community, and you're partnered with Air Tractor uh, in a, uh, a very subtle decision display in the front of the hall where there's this giant burly uh, uh, counterinsurgency uh, air, aircraft there. Uh, let me start on the night vision side. Uh, last week, you guys won a major U.S. Army award, $400 million. I know you're in the quiet period for that because that was for uh, the advanced, enhanced night vision goggle uh, binocular uh, contract. Uh, that was a, a big award for, for you guys. Um, I know you can't talk a lot about that, but talk to us you know, in the main on the night vision side, a very competitive field. You have a lot of companies uh, working very, very hard for the business that's out there. Talk to us just in general terms about the importance of that award, you hope, and then also what you guys have, you know, what are your, your plans for expansion in this marketplace? Thanks, appreciate the opportunity to talk about our programs. Uh, most importantly, uh, you just mentioned our night vision goggle program that we were just awarded from the Army. It's really not about night vision anymore. It's about mobility vision enhancement. It's about giving the soldiers and the operators a capability beyond uh, operating at night. Owning the night is absolutely critical and important, and that's a fundamental part of it. But being able to uh, work on these programs allows us to bring in products, components, and technology that will help enable the operator even further. So without saying any more about that program, it's, it's really a step forward to information integration and data integration to future soldier capabilities. And um, what are your, uh, you know, we talked to Chris Kubasic uh, recently, uh, chairman and uh, president and CEO of uh, L3. And he focused a lot on you know, integration, in, in particular secure communications. Talk to us about how the whole ecosystem is working. The whole L3 ecosystem is coming together to figure these integrated solutions out for your, for your customers. L3 3.0 is what you're referring to, and that is Chris Kubasic's uh, mission and vision for our organization, is to drive for more collaboration, not only among the entities to working together, but collaboration among our technologies and our investments. Because as we see the world starting to integrate more rapidly and associate with the commercial technologies at an accelerated pace. Uh, Chris Kubasic sees that as well. Uh, we've been traditionally, as, as he mentioned in his interview with you last week, we've traditionally been a very siloed organization which has worked well in the past. But going forward to be able to maintain the pace for future uh, capabilities, to be able to enhance the platforms on which we're integrating these technologies, like the big air tractor that you mentioned down front, putting capabilities, mission integration software capabilities, that's going to drive us even further uh, with solutions that will be adapted to those environments. So, you know, you were, you were talking about Forsex so, and, right. and uh, integration of information, so let's go to the Forsex uh, system a little bit. On a multiplicity of uh, special operations aircraft, it's actually the backbone, whether it's on a King Air, whether it's on an AC-130, uh, or whether it's on an, any one of a number of helicopter systems. Talk to us, you know, and, and again, you know, you mentioned on the air tractor as well, um, you know, should you win it, it's part of it, but you want it to be in the inventory as well, but talk to us a little bit about what you have new with that system on a wider, uh, from a wider standpoint. Well, it, it is part of the system, but it's also one of the most critical pieces of the systems as we're starting to do more mission management integration. Really what you're seeing with what we do at Forsex is that software is the platform. Software becomes the platform that drives your ability to change the way we can do real-time mission management, mission integration, be able to then take the information that we're gathering on those ISR platforms and then be able to move that feed down to the dismounted platforms. Go back to our night vision goggle we talked about earlier. Opening up that information portal to the soldier says that now we can start doing interconnectivity of mission management, integration, planning, and execution real time from the air to ground, air to air, air to other assets. So mission management software is more than just software. That's why I say it's, it's really a platform in itself because it gives us a capability to drive for innovation and change a lot faster. 
and uh, any uh, counter uh, unmanned aerial systems uh, all over the main hall. There is a sign. It's a no drone zone, uh, just in case people start to get any clever ideas. Uh, tell us uh, about the Warlock system a little bit that you guys have. Uh, you're, you're featuring here. So we've got a system, as you mentioned, it's called Warlock. It's kind of an interesting name, but uh, it's really to go out and to shut down drones that are operating in an airspace that are not authorized to be in that airspace. I'll give you a great example. You probably read about the, the prison systems are being infiltrated with drones that are moving contraband behind the wires. Well, you can set up a Warlock system to be able to, first off, using our, our uh, passive cameras, to be able to detect the UAS operating in that space. And then the Warlock can be more precise at engaging that threat and disabling the threat. So you use a non-lethal effect in an urban environment or in, in environments where you don't want to be firing weapons, you can use that non-lethal effect to uh, disrupt the, uh, the, the UAS. As well, we tie that in with a software development the, that we tie into our uh, uh, passive target tracking and it's called Farsight. Now it'll track multiple drones and we're seeing the smaller UAS is being uh, operated in a swarm. So now we can detect the threats, we can track multiple threats, and we can start prioritizing those threats so we can engage with either lethal effects or non-lethal effects as well. So it really is bringing a solution to a problem that has a flexibility to be operated in both the commercial and the military markets. And uh, do you see a lot of commercial expansion opportunities? Tremendous number of commercial expansion opportunities, and it's, it's really because we're seeing a lot more gray area between commercial and military technologies. We still have the requirement to make our military uh, products and capabilities to survive those environments, but we are starting to see more of a, uh, of a migration, if you will, of both commercial technologies our way that we're an 80% solution is viable for the military operations because we're moving so fast. At the same time, you've got that dual use capability, like I mentioned with the Warlock, where we can apply a system that was developed for uh, military operation environment that can be used in uh, commercial environments as well. John Pyatt, uh, Vice President for uh, Business Development and Strategy at the Warrior Systems Unit of L3 Technologies. Sir, uh, thanks very much. Always always enjoy the conversation. Vago, my pleasure. and It's been a lot of fun. And I, again, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to speak about smart products and technology. And I really appreciate the interview you did last week with Chris Gubasic. Fantastic job. Thanks, thanks very much. It's, it's always, a, always a treat talking to Chris, and it, and it, was, a, it was a pleasure. Thank you.